video I am recreating a Victoria's Secret fashion show 2015 inspired hair and makeup tutorial for you guys. I did get a few tips from the makeup artist and the hairstylist themselves from an article which I will link down below for you guys but the makeup was very easy to recreate. Very light, natural, no makeup makeup and also for the hair it's just a very easy beachy wavy look so if you'd like to know the products that I use to achieve this look then let's just get started. So starting off with the face, I've already put on some moisturizer, but other than that, I'm just starting off with a completely clean skin. And since the makeup is supposed to be very natural and it's supposed to look like no makeup makeup, I'm actually going to go in with the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream, and this is in the shade Ginger 06. And what I'm going to do is just work this onto my skin with a damp beauty blender to get the natural, the most natural amount of coverage. Since you don't really want to cover your skin, you just kind of want to go in and fix any imperfections, especially since you're supposed to look very glowy, really healthy, and not too much makeup on the skin. All right, so once that is completely blended into the skin and down the neck as well, um, I'm just gonna go in and go ahead and touch up any dark circles or any little spots that you do find um, on the skin that you just want a little bit extra coverage with. So I'm gonna go in with the Amazing Cosmetics Perfection Stick Coverage on the go, and this is in the shade Fair, and I'm actually just going to take a little bit of this product and just go ahead and put a little bit underneath the eyes and just anywhere that I find that I need a little bit extra coverage without going too overboard because like I said you're supposed to look really natural not have much makeup on because that is the Victoria's Secret no makeup makeup look and that's pretty much it I'm just gonna go in again with my damp beauty blender and just blend that out All right, and once you have that all blended in, then I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of setting powder, and I'm just going to put it underneath my eyes and a little bit in my T-zone, wherever I would get the most shiny, because the more skin that you have coming through, the more natural this is going to look. So I'm going to just go in with the Sedona Lace Palette, and I'm just gonna actually go in with the first two colors here. We have a white translucent color and a little bit of a more yellow shaded color. Alright, so the next step in achieving this Victoria's Secret everyday makeup glowy look, we're going to go in with the Master Glaze Face Studio Blush Stick by Maybelline. And this is a little bit extra. The makeup artist wouldn't typically do anything like this with any kind of bronzer or contouring just because he wants the models to look as natural and seamless as possible. But I'm just going to go in with a little bit on my Tarte um, Blush Brush. I'm just going to take a little bit on here like this. And I'm actually just going to use this to not only essentially kind of contour a little bit, but mostly just warm up the skin. And this is also going to give you a really nice Victoria's Secret Angel Glow. And I'm also going to take a little bit of the extra excess product that is on the brush. I'm not going to go in and pick up any more, but I'm going to take anything that's left on the brush and just tap it on the bridge of my nose and a little bit on the chin. And this is just going to give you a very natural sunlit glow. All right, so the next thing that I'm going to do is just go ahead and add a little bit of cream blush. This is very similar to a blush that the actual makeup artist used on the models. What he did was go in with a very red, pinky toned color. He just went and put that on the apples of the cheeks and blended back just to give the girls a very nice, natural flush of color. So I'm just going to go in with the Josie Marin Coconut Water Cheek Gelée, and this one is in the color Poppy Paradise. It's a very nice natural color, and the cool thing about these cheek gels, actually, since it is more of a um, gel creamy consistency, it's going to look very nice, very natural on the skin, which is exactly what we're going for here. And I'm also just going to take whatever is extra on the brush with this as well, and go ahead and tap a little bit on the bridge of the nose, and a little bit on the chin. And this is going to give the illusion of a very natural, healthy skin. So the final step for the makeup is just to go in and highlight the skin. And for that, I'm going to be using the Tarte Glow Light Luminizing Wand. I'm just going to take this and pump it a couple times. It is a liquid product, which is perfect for this kind of look because you want to go in with as many liquids as possible. That way you look as natural and as glowy and dewy and no makeup makeup as possible, but while still looking great. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this product, and like I said, I usually just pump the end of it one or two times, and what I'm going to actually do is just draw a couple of lines here where I want to highlight on the tops of my cheekbone, 
going with my damp beauty blender and then i'm just going to actually blend that into the skin at the very tops of my cheekbones just to bring in as much highlight as i can because this is a victoria's secret fashion show look of course so i'm just going to blend that out with my damp beauty blender there then i'm just going to do the same thing on the other side draw a couple of lines on the top of my cheekbone here again going with my damp beauty blender and just go ahead and blend that out and to highlight the face further what i'm going to do is take about one more pump of this put a little bit on my forehead a little bit down the bridge of my nose on the cupid's bow and a little bit on the chin and this is just going to add further highlight and dimension to the skin and make you look like a victoria's secret model so then I'm just going to go back in with my damp beauty blender and blend all that in. Moving to brows, I'm not really going to do much with them. I'm just going to grab my Brow Wiz pencil. And I'm going to go in and I'm just going to brush them out a little bit. And if there's any extra space where I find that they really need help on, I will go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hill Brow Wiz. And I'll kind of just go in and maybe touch up a little here just to fill in the ends a little bit and on this side i'm also just going to lightly fill in the end that way it doesn't look too sparse but we also don't want them to look too filled in we want them to look as natural as they possibly can then i'm going to go in with the spoolie end of the brush and just make sure i fully blend that out So for eyeshadow, the makeup artist actually kept it really simple. He just used a light shimmery gold color on the lid and then just a little bit of a highlight on the brow bone and inner corner. So I decided to go in with the Victoria's Secret eyeshadow in the shade between the sheets. I'm also going to take a little bit of this eyeshadow and put a little bit of it on the tip of my brush and work this on my lower lash line just slightly underneath. And I'm also going to do the same thing on the other side. And when I'm finished placing the color, I'm just going to go in with a fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend that all out. I'm just going to blend underneath the eye as well, just so that way we have no harsh lines anywhere because we want the makeup look to be completely seamless. So the next thing that the makeup artist actually did with the girl's eyes was put a little bit of eyeliner on the top and bottom lash line and go ahead and smudge it out. What he did was use a black liner that was a pencil liner, but it had it more of a gel-like consistency, but it ended up drying to more of a powder finish. So I have something very similar. It's the NYX Trace Joe Black Eye Pencil. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this black eyeliner pencil, go ahead and slightly line the top and lower eyelashes, and then just go ahead and smudge that out. So then for mascara, we're just going to keep it very natural, no lashes, nothing like that. So I'm just going to go in with the eyelash curler and go ahead and curl my lashes a couple of times. I'm just going to go in and apply a couple coats of mascara and I'm just going to be using the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. So I'm just going to go in and slightly put on probably about two coats. I don't want to go overboard by any means, but just enough to make your eyes really pop. So for lips, the makeup artist actually used a pink mauve neutral lip color. So I'm actually going to be going in with just a little bit of lip liner from MAC, and it is the color Subculture. So now I'm just going to top that off with a little bit of lipstick, and I'm going in with the Model Co. Party Proof Lipstick in the shade Spring Fling. And then I'm just going to take my pinky finger and blend that out. Alright, so that was the finished Victoria's Secret makeup tutorial. Alright, so moving to the hair tutorial part of this video, the first thing that we're going to do is grab our handy dandy comb here and just go ahead and brush through your hair. You just want to make sure that there's no knots or tangles or anything like that in your hair. So pretty much once that's done, we can go ahead and get started. 
So now the look that we're going for in this Victoria's Secret fashion show inspired tutorial is actually a really loose, beachy, beautiful wave. And what we're actually going to use to achieve those waves is called the Beach Waver S1. This is actually the product that they used on all the Victoria's Secret angels to get that effortless beachy wave. So I actually have it here myself, which I was really glad about when I read the article. I'll actually link it down below for you guys. So what I'm actually gonna do is just grab about one inch sections and go ahead and take my beach waver and I'm going to clamp the hair, leaving about an inch of hair left at the end. And I'm gonna push, push one of these buttons either way, which I want my hair to be going. I want my hair to be coming out away from my face. So I'm going to press the left button and curl it right up to about here. And then after about, I would say about five to 10 seconds or so, we're just gonna leave that there. And then we are going to unclamp it. Now we actually have a full review tutorial on this that Jordan actually filmed for you guys, which I will link down below. Shows more of an in-depth review on how to use this product better, but it's actually pretty easy. And I'm just gonna keep going on this side. So again, take another section of hair and just keep on going. All right, so that is pretty much this side of the hair finished. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and move on to this side of my hair, and I'm just gonna do the exact same thing. The only difference that I'm actually gonna do with this side is when I actually take the beach waver, instead of going to the left, I'm actually gonna move to the right, meaning my curls are going to come away from my face on both sides. All right, so once you have your hair pretty much curled for the most part, I'm just gonna go through with it and take my fingers and kind of just run through it, zhuzh it up a little bit, make it look a little bit more natural. And then the next thing that I'm actually going to do is take my comb one more time, and I'm gonna go through the ends and just kind of tease them up a little bit. And this is just going to add a little bit of extra volume and it's going to make um, your curls really last and it's going to give you more of that beachy, wavy, Victoria's Secret sexy look. All right, so once you have that pretty much worked all in, the final step that we're gonna do for the hair is just go ahead and go in with a little bit of hairspray. You can use pretty much any hairspray that you have, but I'm just gonna be using the Tresemme um, Extra Hold number four hairspray. And I'm just going to take a little bit of this. I don't want to go too much because I hate when hair gets too crunchy or just, you know, too much hairspray in it. So what we're going to do is just stand about eight to five inches away from the hair and just probably give a couple little spritzes. Not much, but just enough to give you a nice hold throughout the day. Then we're just going to do the same thing on this side. And that is pretty much it for the hair. It's a very easy tousled look. All you need is the beach waver. You can actually use any other curling iron. A tip that I would use to give it more of a beachy look is instead of clamping your hair down if you have a typical curling iron, go ahead and just use the barrel part of it and wrap it around your head. If you have a normal barrel, you can also use that as well. The bigger the better, I do agree with that. It'll give you more of a natural wavy looking texture to the hair. All right, so that was my Victoria's Secret Fashion Show 2015 inspired hair and makeup look for you guys. I think it was very simple to do and I think that anybody can recreate this look and it would look gorgeous on absolutely everybody. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!